Okay, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to do bivariate linear regression using SPSS. It's a means of assessing the relationship between two interval ratio level variables. Uh, for this example I'm using the NIS lab data set simply because it has the most interval ratio level variables so there's the most to choose from. <coughs> Excuse me. So to do this you're going to go to analyze and then down to regression and then over to linear regression. Um, and we have our independent variable, we have our dependent variable. This is going to be our x variable and this is going to be our y variable. So for the purposes of this example I'm going to have education be my independent variable so that's years of school completed and then I'm going to have uh, total family income be my dependent variable. Um, there are some options you can look at over here but uh, for the most part this is all we really need and then you're going to click OK. And we have um, our model summary which gives us our R and our R square value. You can see that we have very very small R, very small R squared which actually is not unusual for the social sciences especially when you think about our dependent variable being income. There are so many thousands of things that can affect an individual's income that really any one of them isn't going to explain very much all by itself. So uh, don't be alarmed or put off if you have a very small R square or R. Um, that's totally normal for our field. Um, now as far as our regression results are concerned, what we really want to pay attention to is this coefficients box here at the bottom. Um, and what we want to look at is this B, this B box. It's a, it's a beta box, unstandardized coefficients. Um, this constant in parentheses, this 39,999, that is our y-intercept. That is the place where the line crosses the y-axis. Or in other words, we could conclude that, um, as far as this sample is concerned anyway, um, somebody with no education whatsoever would make almost $40,000 a year, which is actually kind of impressive. I don't think that would hold true for the general population. Um, and then years of school completed, that is our slope. So um, we can interpret that as saying for each unit increase in X, so for each additional year of school somebody completes, uh, their income would, their annual income would go up by $443.82, give or take. Uh, so if we were to write this out as a regression equation, we could say that y is equal to 443,000, or I'm sorry, 443.823x plus 39,999.236 would be our regression equation. And then we could use that equation to predict the value, or to predict the income for any value of x. So if we wanted to know how much someone could expect to make after 25 years of education, for example, we could just plug that into x, uh, the place of x, and work it out. Uh, let's do one more and see if we can get one that's um, uh, perhaps a little bit easier to interpret. So let's go to Analyze, and then down to Regression, and over to Linear. Now let's see, let's get rid of years of school completed and instead let's go with age as our independent variable. So we're essentially arguing that an individual's age has some effect on his or her income, which isn't entirely out of the realm of possibility. Um, click OK. And again, here's our value of R, our R square. Um, you can ignore adjusted R squared. That doesn't really have any bearing when it comes to linear regression. If we were doing a different type of regression, we might want to pay attention to that. Um, we go down here. Um, we can see that we have our constant again. That's our y-intercept. That's in this case, it's um, negative two thousand eight hundred eleven point seven six four, and we have our slope. 
which is 1,343.107. Um, now you can see this y-intercept is kind of nonsensical all by itself. How could anyone possibly be making negative $2,811 per year? Um, well, to be totally honest, it's, it's okay for the y-intercept to make no sense, just because it... Um, it's the place where our line starts, but it doesn't necessarily have any meaning in and of itself. Um, I mean, if you look at somebody who's zero years old, because that's essentially what it's telling us, somebody with no age or a zero as far as age is concerned, um, makes negative $2,811 per year. I mean, you really wouldn't expect anybody who's zero years old to make any money anyway. Anyway, so long story short, it's okay if the y-intercept is a little bit nonsensical because it can be. That's that's normal. Um, and our slope, 1,343.107, essentially telling us that for each unit increase in x, y is going to go up by that much. So for each additional year of age that someone accumulates, uh, you might expect to see their income go up by 1,400 or 1,343. Um, so if we wanted to write this out as a regression equation, we could say y is equal to 1,343.107x minus 2,811.764. Um, yeah, so again, if you have any questions, please let one of us know. Otherwise, that should be it as far as what you need to do to complete your assignment this week.